Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh hoodies from Brand Gun and surprisingly this is a car kit in 144 scale so I would say it's unusual scale for this genre but we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff and this kit is already available for purchase. So first of all this is a Kubelwagen so I guess there is no need to explain what is this and as you can see there are two pieces in one box that's also quite a cool thing and we have a standard packaging for this brand as you can see that's a blister package you can see parts through it and on the rear side we have some safety advices address of the manufacturer and of course brand gun website here so let's open it and check what is hidden inside as you can see everything is closed with this paper clip so i will have to use debonder in order to open it and of course I will do it off the camera just to make sure that I won't get into some weird accidents and in the meantime let me remind you that we opened the YouTube membership we have join button somewhere here so you can press it choose the tire you would like to support us and there is even one level where you will be getting a free kit every month so if you would like to help us and you love new models that might be an interesting choice for you so what do we have here first of all we have the back cardboard serving also as assembly manual so i will show it a bit later i would like to start with the resin part so because we have here two parts two cubic wagons we can zoom in even more and they're really tiny here you can see comparison with my hand i will show you on one because there is no need to show again the same model again and again so bring it closer to the camera let's wait until it will focus on the subject okay now you should be able to see that we have obviously one piece model and i would say that's the beauty of it because basically you will have just to install the wheels and you'll be good to go some others will like it some not maybe you can modify it just by cutting the doors maybe but it will depend on you as you can see there is also some minor interior detailing which is also cool and of course there is no i would say bottom detailing because <laughs> we have the custom base on the bottom here you can see the front side which looks also quite nice and of course you can notice that we have folded roof so you won't be able to replicate the car with a retracted roof next we go on with another set of resin parts and here it is not difficult to guess that we have resin wheels so i will place one set of wheels here and one i will show it to you in a closer view because this way you will be able to see these small parts in a bit more detailed view so let's wait until camera will focus finally I guess my hand is not that big for it <laughs> okay come on yeah now you should be able to see it so here we have these views and note that writing on the custom base sh says Schwimm wagon as well so maybe there will be a separate set I don't remember if they have it already and you can notice that we have four main wheels and one spare wheel which will be placed on the vehicle they look really nice I mean you can notice comparison with my fingertip they're really tiny this is a 144 scale so there is no magic they're not bigger than they should be next we go on with decals and PE parts I will show you PE parts first as you can see they are packed into this plastic bag so I have to use the bonder again just give me a sec okay so remove it from the plastic bag and PE thread is not that big we have some pioneer tools from what I can see it is unpainted P thread obviously so let's wait until camera will focus as usual I'm not sure why it is so slow if you have some tips write it in the comment section yeah now you should be able to see that we have unpainted P thread we have also steering wheels here and we also have the front windscreen frames 
and some other elements which will have to be installed on the vehicle. Again, this is a 144 scale vehicle, so here you can see the actual size of this PE fret. It might look big on the camera, but actually it is really tiny. And what's even more surprising is what we have in the next plastic bag. So just give me a second. I won't be showing it on the camera right now. I will show it once I will open it. So just give me a sec. So first of all we have here the decals sheet which is really tiny and we have various number plates here so they will be handy for a fine detailing of your vehicle but that's not all so I will place it here and the next thing is this small film so that's something I was not expecting here I mean some manufacturers would just write source your film and good to go here you have it out of the box and you have to cut it at the front windscreen for this vehicle really funny feature I mean it will add some fine details to the vehicle it won't be just a frame without any glass inside so it would look cool in such small size and next we have the assembly manual so this one is printed in black and white format so I will carefully remove all these parts from here and here is the assembly manual we will show it side by side I mean slide by slide because it is divided into separate sections so here first of all we have parts map and again you remember that there are not that many parts because the main car body is molded as one piece part here you can see the spare wheel on the front side you also apply this I guess that's a decal maybe that's a P part so we have also wheels from each side next we continue with pioneer tools that's the shawl and also we have steering wheel made out of P and here we have the windscreen frame which will have to be combined with the film but that's actually depicted on the next step so here you can see that you have to cut out the film before using then you have a choice between several number plates and that's pretty much all there is nothing on the rear side so I would say assembly is quite easy here but you will have to be careful with these small elements because there might be tricky to apply in some cases but other than that I don't see any challenge especially for experienced modelers of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such set write it here in the comment section below and again if you want to support us join our membership here and if you like this video press the like button thank you for joining me today i will see you in the next video review as usual so stay tuned and bye